All right, I got a couple of these 2931 series battery trays with the strap. Same thing I got there. I don't want them all the way up in here with the deck coming back here. So we're finally getting rid of this janky setup, the ratchet straps. It was a temporary thing anyways. All right, watch this. These little wires are for the onboard charger and big wires obviously for the batteries and the trolling motor. This plywood floor, it should last at least a couple more years before I have to replace it. I may eventually replace it with aluminum, but for now we're just going to screw the battery boxes straight into the floor. And then the deck extension will come back and screw straight into the floor. Of course everything will be removable for whenever the day comes that this plywood needs replaced. So we're not welding or permanently bolting or riveting anything to the boat. Anything that attaches to the bolt, to the actual boat, will be screws or bolts that can be backed out. All right, so this is the piece we need. That's the height we need for the supports. The floor is flat, so we're gonna mark that with a Sharpie and cut that, so we'll have two, and we're probably gonna end up using a couple more. But we're gonna start out with these two just to get the base frame set together, and then we'll cut more pieces as we need to reinforce it. All right, so next, this is the piece that goes on the floor. This is our one of our supports, and I've got it clamped down. I'm gonna drill a hole here and pop in a rivet. And then I'll take the clamp off and drill another hole, pop in two rivets for each uh, each joint. Obviously this is load bearing, so the weight is gonna be pushing down onto this frame. So the rivets are really just to hold it in place. They're not load bearing. All right, I've got this piece marked at 56 inches. The front deck, the back edge there is 60 inches wide, so we're gonna leave a two inch gap on either side for the wires. And then this will screw directly into the side of the deck there. All right. I've got a couple screws in the bottom here to hold this in place. Still gotta put a couple rivets in there. Rivet there. That's screwed into the deck. Same thing on that side. And we're gonna do a couple cross members like this and a couple of support legs that'll come down in the middle here. All right, here we are another day. Had to go to the store, pick up some more aluminum, some more screws, and some bolts, washers, lock nuts. All right, I've got extra support here on the end, and of course I ran out of aluminum again, but I had a piece of scrap square tube here. Everything's rock solid. All right, I've got everything measured and line traced out. Now I gotta put a new blade on this and hope that I cut straight. This thing's from the 1870s, but it does cut.
Yeah, it looks like it fits. I decided to go with screws instead of rivets on top in case I need to take the surface off. I won't have to drill rivets out. I can just unscrew them. So we're gonna tap some holes. We'll do one corner, another corner, put those screws down, and then we'll drill the rest of the holes and screw them all down at once. Before I bolt this down, I've got to get some spray adhesive and glue these pieces. I don't have to do this, but it's just so the deck sits completely flush on the support beams or the cross members, whatever you want to call them. All right, we got a hole here. I'm gonna cover that hole up by making it bigger. Probably right about here, we're gonna drill a hole for a trash can under the deck, which I've been needing for a while. Instead of throwing stuff all over the bottom of the boat, we'll have that there. rivet these in. All right, I'm going to call it a night. We got the back walls riveted on. Everything's pretty solid. All right, I'm going to take the boat out tonight. Do a little fishing and test these lights out. For now, I got this little thin sheet of aluminum and some marine weld. Basically, I'm just going to glue it down to cover this. Before we glue it down, the deck is dirty, obviously. We've got a scotch bright, some wind decks, and some uh, shop towels, and we're going to clean all the surfaces off. All right, we got this all cleaned off. You can see all the scum and old paint. The paint's kind of chalky from sitting out in the sun. Uh, but I think we've got almost all of it cleaned off. And then I took the scotch bright and roughed the edges of this. You can see it's a little scuffed up. Uh, this doesn't have to be an absolutely perfect bond because it is going to be covered with, with uh, EVA foam. Oh, we got to mix this. Uh, not my smartest move. I thought this was a self-mixing one. <laughs> all right. The packaging says it's sandable in one hour, so we're going to give it at least an hour. I got these bricks to hold it as a... Uh, snug as possible because the deck's not perfectly flat well my package is not here and it's almost time to leave so we'll do the deck tomorrow but the uh marine weld is set up got a nice little patch on that hole we're gonna go fishing if we get any video tonight it'll be on the main channel on my main channel catman outdoors not on this diy channel all right we've had another string of bad weather and rain but uh, we did take the boat out the other night and shot about half a barrel of fish. So it's a pretty good night. And the deck worked well, the lights work well. Now you can see it is filthy. So I got some soapy water and a scotch bright pad and we're gonna scrub all this off, hose it down with fresh water, try to get it as clean as possible. It's mostly drying off here in the sun. Got a little bit of rubbing alcohol and a microfiber cloth. I'm just gonna wipe it down good and get any excess dirt and grease or anything off of the surface. See it drying nice and quick there. So just wanna make sure it's ready for the adhesive to stick so that it doesn't peel up. All right, so I got some 3M Super 77 spray adhesive just to go around the edges where the uh, decking is most likely to peel. And I got this box to protect from overspray.
All right, I got both sides down. I'm gonna go over it one more time. There's a little bit of a seam that's popped up right there. Make sure I got everything down tight. Trimmed it all the way up to the nose. This is for the old navigation light. <laughs> it doesn't get used anymore, but I figured I'd cut around it anyway in case I needed it for backup or something. Here's the knobs. I got my uh, Bluetooth controllers in the mail, so I can switch, I can unplug these knobs and, and go Bluetooth if I want with the outriggers. But uh, other than that, looks pretty good. I almost forgot the cutout for the trash can. Got that ready to go. Doesn't look perfect, doesn't look bad. Looks good from a distance. Anyway, this will fish a whole lot better. Got a little bit of cushion and some slip resistance. That's the main thing. No more slippery aluminum deck with a bunch of fish flopping around. So that'll be it for this build video. I've got other work to do on the boat and the trailer, but uh, that's for another time.